Hello there, Sagittarius. It's so good to see you again. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Um, so today I'm doing your June career and money tarot reading. So we'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for um, some of the more details. <laughs> so, um, and if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all your support of my channel. Okay, so let's see what your soul's traveler's oracle card is. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Oh my goodness, what a lovely energy. <laughs> and Sag, you know, I think you so deserve every single bit of it. Um, you know, it's about, you know, I'm getting the sense that it is about you understanding that you yourself are a miracle, right? Um, you are a miracle. Your spiritual gifts are a miracle. Your talents are a miracle. Um, and really having this, uh, it's an exuberant type of energy of understanding all of that and understanding that everything is almost kind of like coming together and you're, you're feeling like it's almost miraculous, but it's because of all of your own energies about yourself and about what it is that you know, you are passionate about <laughs> what are you, what you are creating, you know, um, and just understanding that things come in divine time. It's, um, this energy of just allowing, that's what I would say is allowing the miracles to come into your life, to allow it. Very nice. Okay. So we're going to go to the tarot. I am going to anchor each one of these with an Oracle card. So we'll take a look at your present energy, your area of resistance or your obstacle at this time, advice from spirit, and then the outcome of you taking advice. But remember, Sag, you do have free will. So please make the decisions that you think are best for you. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Wow. Okay. Really interesting discovery. I feel like you are discovering the miracles, <laughs> discovering the miracles within yourself. Um, because at this time in your present energy, you have dark thoughts. So we're going to clarify this, but you know, the feeling like, is it really going, is this, you know, really going to happen? Is it really going to, going to manifest for me? You know, what do I have to do to get, yeah, to get things to move on. Yeah, very good. Oh, nice energy. Okay, nine of swords on the bottom. I feel like this is kind of your energy right now. Just being a little anxious, fearful. You know, will those miracles actually manifest? Can I really bring into fruition what it is that I want? Um, I feel like you're making some type of a discovery here. We have family and um, milestone here. Um, uh, you know, but this staying in your career and money sector, I would say that, you know, there's some kind of discovery. You may even make a discovery within your yourself or within your family um, that helps you to move to the next level. You know, because with the milestone, it is about moving to the next level. Um, I don't know. There, there. It, for some of you, I know this would be a very small part, but you know, you, I feel like you're going to discover some type of family money. Um, it could be an inheritance or something like that, but family, I'm hearing wealth. So like some type of family um, wealth. And you know, to me, wealth does not mean have to mean just money, but you know, it could be um, uh, connections, you know, networking connections or, um, somebody in your family knows somebody that knows somebody that helps you <laughs> to, to make a breakthrough, okay? Because there is this sense of you have a breakthrough on the way. And I feel like you're going to think that that breakthrough is a miracle. It's completely divinely guided, um, completely. So right now your energy is you have the dark thoughts. You're trying to move forward, but it's almost like there's one obstacle after another, you know, that's putting you into this energy of, oh, you know, you're trying to manifest something, you know, um, you know, it could be, you're trying to manifest a new business that you're trying to start or manifest a new job 
or manifest something tangible like a new house, new car, something like that. There's something tangible or, you know, a dream of yours that you are really trying to bring into fruition. And it, I, I just feel like you're, you keep hitting a wall because you, you see the dark thoughts. I mean, he's walking like into a maze um, and it's all dark. Like I, I'm getting the sense that, you know, you're all, you feel like you're almost walking into the dark and, and bumping into one wall or one obstacle at a, at after another it's um kind of like you you're not you know like when you're in a maze you're you could come to you know a pathway and there's like actually two pathways like a crossroads and you're not really sure which one do i take am i moving forward in the right direction yes you are um so uh you are on the right path not to be not to be concerned if you feel confused at this time or lost within this maze because you do have um you know you do have um protection from your spirit guides and your angels you are on the right path you will be moving forward so let me just clarify this eight of wands wheel of fortune ten of cups there you go knight of pentacles um, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is one of the best cards in the deck, as, especially for career and money, because it means you're building that strong foundation. Uh, whatever you are working on now, it may be going slow, um, but it's steady and it is building a strong foundation. So you do not have to worry about it crumbling, you know, um, at the first little, you know, uh, tremble of something. Um, and, you know, with the Knight of Pentacles, it is about tangible things, money. He's holding a coin, you know. You're putting your time and your energy into building something that will be solid and substantial. I feel like you are getting some communication. The Ten of Cups is coming up, and when I saw it, I thought family again. Um, so you have this strong energy of family around you. Um, and so I feel like you're getting some communication. You could be getting communication about, you know, the person that knows somebody, right? Or, you know, you've inherited some money or, you know, uh, uh, Uncle Bob calls you up and he says that, you know, hey, you know, I, I know you were trying to start that new business. I, I'd like to invest in it, you know, or something like that. I feel like you're getting some kind of a breakthrough of some sort that helps to get the wheel to turn for you. Um, and so I would say that if you get any communication about something like that, you probably want to take it. Um, it's, it's helping you to move forward. Um, and this is a lovely energy, you know, of somebody um, really kind of like reaching out, uh, offering you some assistance. And I feel like it's financial assistance, especially with the Knight of Pentacles. This may have been a long time coming. For some of you, you know, you could have had somebody that was kind of saying that they would lend you money or invest in your thing, but they had to wait for something else in their life to happen. Like they had to sell their house or something like that before they would have the money. And I feel like that may be coming in. It's been a long time coming, this, um, th this. You've had to have a lot of patience, okay? Um, but there is also the energy of, you know, it's coming into fruition. So uh, your obstacle at this time, you are trying to manifest something, but you're having a hard time moving from the turbulent energies that you're in into the calmer energies. You know, you have a lot of anxiety and stuff trying to calm that. You know, you could be trying to do a lot of meditation or something to try to calm your mind because I feel like you really are almost a little bit fretful, I would say, that's the word, um, at this time because you're trying to manifest something um, and yet at the same time, it's not happening. I really get a sense that it's just not happening. So uh, let's uh, clarify this. Now, remember, this is your obstacle or your area of resistance. Okay, death. Okay, there is something you have to bring to an end in order for a new beginning to happen. Um, so let's see. Two of cups here and five of swords. Um, okay, so the two of cups, staying in a career money, um, it means that it could be a business partnership, um, you know, somebody that wants to partner with you, but, you know, there's been like a lot of chaos, um, you know, uh, a, a, an energy of, you know, could be a little bit somebody um, 
playing with your mind a little bit. Um, so I kind of almost wonder if there isn't for some of you that somebody that has been saying that they will invest in you in your business or whatever this is or help you out financially or something but they haven't been coming through with the money right that you're you're finally going to say I have to go in a different direction I have to find somebody else to help financially you know help me financially um so, you know, if it's kind of like a, uh, somebody that says, yeah, I'd like to partner with you. Um, and then they're not like following through that you, you sever that and, and find there, there will be a new partner coming on to help you with that. Because I feel like there is this, you know, you're kind of blocking, looking at other options. It's almost like you put your, all your eggs in one basket, you know, um, but it's kind of like look a little bit of a need to look, um, be a little bit more open-minded, I guess, and look at some other options. Because when you start looking at some other options, you are going to find <laughs> the new option that is going to, you're going to discover the new option. I feel like you, you, there is, there's a little bit of banking on somebody, you know, like banking your hopes on somebody coming through with something. Um, and I think that that is the interesting thing because I feel like you do have somebody that's going to come through, but it may not be the person that you were thinking it might be. Really, um, very interesting energy there. It's kind of like one of those situations, you know, like maybe last Thanksgiving or something, you were, you know, at the Thanksgiving table with all of your relatives. You threw out this idea. Um, and some people say, oh yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Your uncle Bob said, yeah, I'll invest, but first I have to sell my business or I have to sell my house or something like that. And then it just keeps getting postponed or whatever. Right. And it's almost as if grandma calls you up and says, you know, what's going on with your business or something. And you say, oh, I I'm waiting on uncle Bob, you know, or something with the money. And she's like, oh, I have some money you know, I'll, I'll lend it to you or I'll give it to you or something like that. And you're like, wow, <laughs> that's a miracle, <laughs> you know, something like that. Because your advice here is to go in a new direction. Um, you have professional assistance here. You may, um, may actually be ending like, you know, a business partnership or the idea of partnering with a certain person. There's something about going in a new direction with the full card and perhaps seeking professional assistance so professional assistance you know this could be an accountant um and you know an investment um advisor or something like that um but i feel like you're really going in a new direction you're kind of like oh my goodness you know it's almost a sense of i've been waiting forever for you know whatever that is and it could be you know the job offer that you kept thinking was going to come in and you know um, it, it, it just never kept, you know, they kept saying, well, we postponed hiring new people for another three months or something. And you're, you just keep putting your hopes in this one selection, right? And it's kind of like, no, look at some other options because there is a really good option and it's like right under your nose. They're showing me this <laughs> option, like right under your nose. Um, because, um, yeah, it's a good option. Whatever this option that's coming in is good, whether it's a new job, you know, um, a new um, business idea, a new business partner, new funding for your business, whatever that may be. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Queen of Cups. Making sure you're making decisions that are good for you. I feel like there's somebody here that, you know, we have that Five of Swords energy. Somebody here that might be playing a little bit of games with you, you know. You're understanding that they really had, I feel like this person or this situation or this job, it, it really was never truly committed to what it is that you wanted. Um, you know, and I feel like they've... they've giving you the impression uh, or you have the feeling of being left out in the cold um, that they kind of like turned and ran just, you know, like at the last minute, there's this at the last minute type of energy. Um, and now you're coming into recognizing, hey, I got to go in a new direction because you have the four of wands, um, really nice energy, you know, uh, stable, 
Remember that Knight of Pentacles, we had the Knight of Pentacles, you know, building that strong foundation that, you know, whatever this shift is, Sag, you have to realize that this is divinely guided. This is a miracle <laughs> that comes in, but it was in play all the time. You just didn't see it coming. Um, and so you could have been really disappointed for some time that that job didn't come through or you didn't get accepted to the school that you wanted to get accepted to or Uncle Bob didn't come up with the money. It's okay because that was, that option was taken away for you, from you by the universe, by your guides and angels because there's something better for you out there. Um, so I, I, they're saying again, don't, don't get so focused on on having, you know, that certain outcome, um, especially with this situation. Don't, you know, um, it's kind of like, I think you thought something was going to work out a certain way for so long. You, you're going to have this sense of being disappointed that it doesn't. And yet at the same time, that really wasn't the best option. You didn't see it at the time. Um, and that's why it was kind of postponed for you or delayed, you know, whatever that is, because there's something really, really lovely. You're going from being fragmented energy, having all of this anxiety, not sure what the future holds into this lovely energy of being victorious with the six of wands, you know, being able to just fly forward now, um, having victory, being recognized, you know? Yeah, so if you were you know, overseen for a promotion, okay? Um, and you feel like, wow, they, they just don't appreciate, you know, all the time and energy and effort that I put into my job, how much I've done for this company or business or something. It's kind of like you were overseen for that promotion in order to put you onto a new path that brings you a lot of recognition, a lot of recognition. Yeah, it's kind of like you're almost discovering yourself the miracle within yourself and the miracle within whatever this is it really it's i mean i really feel like it's miraculous you know you're going to be going oh my gosh that's a miracle you know um it's kind of like you know if you were to um to, you know you wanted to buy a new car and you had no money and then all of a sudden you know um the, the bank said, oh, by the way, you know, you've had this savings account since you were a teenager or something, you know, and what do you want to do with it? And you're like, I didn't know I had that account, you know, or I forgot I had that account. And then it's like the exact money that you need for the new car that you want to buy. You know, it's like something like so crazy. And yet at the same time, I think when it happens, you're going to be like, yeah, it all worked out for the best. It definitely worked out for the best. Yeah, so High Priestess, I think down deep inside, you're going to be able to say, I knew it was always going to work out for the best. <laughs> you're no longer going to be trying to decide what way to move forward or feel like you're defending yourself, you know, fighting, fighting off, you know, the naysayers or, you know, the doubts even within your own head or it, around the people that are around you that have helped you know, kind of fragment your energy, make you feel doubtful of yourself. That is all going to go away. You're going to be able to get down to work. I feel like for some of you, you have been so scattered because of all of this situation, um, you know, waiting on something, whatever you've been waiting on, um, has caused you so much anxiety that you couldn't really focus on your work. And now it's kind of like, yeah, you're, you're going to be getting a lot done. And you're, I feel like you're going to be really busy, whatever it is. Um, you're going to have a lot to do. Okay, how can I infuse more self-love and compassion into my daily life? I love this. Um, if your compassion does not include yourself, it is incomplete. And that is a Buddha quote. And, you know, it is about you know, making sure that we are doing at least one self-care action every day. You know, set stronger boundaries, meditate, listen to your heart, speak to yourself with compassion, focus on your strengths, stay away from drama and negativity, ask for help and allow it. And, you know, keep a gratitude journal. You know, it's one of um, my favorite things to do. I, I, I 
you know, I've shared before, I have a gratitude journal on my bedside and the last thing I do before I go to sleep is to write down three things I'm grateful for that day. Um, it really helps you, especially at the end of the day to, you know, go to sleep with good thoughts, um, positive energy instead of the anxiety that I think you may be feeling at this time. All right. So your law of attraction card is respect. I can manifest love and respect when I love and respect myself. And, you know, this is your obstacle right now, intuition and manifestation. So um, making sure that you are, you know, uh, you know, because this one is about self-compassion. You know, taking care of yourself, making sure that you are saying those things to yourself that you would like for other people to say to you, um, treating yourself the way that you would want others to treat you. Um, it's the best way <laughs> to allow those people um, and situations that have love and respect for you to come in into your um, aura. So anyway... Well, Sage, I am going to leave it there. What a wonderful reading. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I do do personal readings, so if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. Um, and I really do appreciate all of your likes, comments, and subscribe subscriptions. <laughs> um, and I do hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.